Well, the leprechauns are dancing, oh, how they love to play, running in the fields and playing tricks all day. You will never catch one, no matter what you do. They sing and dance and play their games and run away from you. Hey, well, it's March 17th there. Little St. Patrick's Day going on and everything. And uh, this is the question of the week doing. Uh, last week I put a question out there about the titles and should I keep them and got some great feedback and thank you for taking the time to answer because I know it was kind of selfish. It was all about me. Anyway, the titles are here to stay. I know there are a couple out there that are booing and they're all upset because, you know, you wanted me to get rid of the titles. Well, no! I don't care if you're sitting there and you're just mad like, ah, there's no happiness in boxing. No, no funny. No, I just want to see guys get hit in the face. You know, that kind of thing. So, kind of get that out of the way. Again, thank you. The titles are here. I'll, I might put a question in every now and then, so some of you aren't completely, you know, put off by the fact that I tell you who I think is going to win. Okay? Cool. And and I thank you for wanting to actually have me put a question on there because you look forward to the vid and, and going through my breakdown and analysis. On to the next question of the week, though. After the recent, uh, some of the recent fights we've had, the Manny Pacquiao, Joshua Clotty fight, the Vitali Klitschko, Kevin Johnson fight, brings up a little thing here that, that I want to get out there. And it's about the purses, not what a woman wears, but how you get paid. The money, the moolah, the cash. You know, the reason why a lot of these guys are fighting. Maybe it's the women. No, I never had one. Anyway. Anyway. Back to the uh, thing we're talking about. When a fighter gives an absolute poor performance like Joshua Clotty did, I mean, that's... And, and I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm just bashing him because I think he is a good fighter. I like the way he fights, for the most part. I hated the way he fought against Pacquiao. How do you just stand there and not throw a punch and just hope that you can survive? I mean, apparently the money seemed like it was too much. You know, I, what was he fighting for? He had the best payday he's ever had. He's set for life. He doesn't have to fight again. You know, but on the same token, how is he remembered now? When you think about him, right now, right now, I'm not talking his career, I'm talking right now, when you think, like, wow, dude didn't even fight Pacquiao, you know? If he threw 400 punches, which I don't think he did, I mean, CompuBox or whoever it is, they said he threw that many. I, I didn't. I don't see how you can. Well, twelve rounds. I guess thirty punches a round. Get four hundred punches, or well, three hundred and sixty anyway. He threw forty around, that'd be four hundred and eighty. So he didn't. He didn't throw forty punches around. Thirty-five. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is how do, how does somebody put up that poor of a performance, losing eleven of the twelve rounds on two of the cards? and then a complete whitewash on the other, and still collect that check. you know, Or Kevin Johnson, who just said, yeah, I'm going to show up, and I'm just going to run like a... B he ran like a gazelle being chased by a cheetah. That's what I'm saying. How do you, how do you go about that? How, how can you take the paycheck and say, yeah, thanks, bro? You know. Now, I know it takes some cojones, balls, whatever you want to call it, to get in the ring, testicle fortitude, to, to climb through those ropes to get to get hit, chance of getting knocked out in front of the nation. But if you're not willing to go out on your shield, I mean, what is that saying about you? I mean, are, when they say, hey, we're going to pay you this much, it's for you to go out and try your best to win the fight, not survive, to try your best to win. Now, I understand you get hurt, you go into survival mode, and you try to, you know get out of that, but eventually, I mean, if that was the first round, I don't expect you to keep doing it in the 12th. You know, obviously, you know, you want to either get him out of there or you get out of there. One of the two. And with with Johnson just running like that, just and embarrassing. I mean, the fans pay their good hard money 
take time out of their schedules, rearrange their life around these fighters to give them the support, to say, hey, look, you're worth the money. I, I'm following you. You know, I have your back. And then to do something like that. You know, I, uh, maybe I'm saying the fans deserve too much. But uh, at the same time, doesn't a fighter owe it to his fans? Owe it to the people that are following that are giving him the paycheck? To do the best he can to try to win the fight. I don't care if you go out on your shield, man, as long as you go down swinging. This isn't swinging. See it? Yeah. I can see you. This isn't fighting, man. It's not. I don't... Oh, he had his D. No, anybody can go in there. Yeah. Beat my ribs. And it doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry about bashing Claude. Claudia. I'm sure he'd punch me in the face if he saw me. And maybe he has every right to. I don't know. But then you have, like, Johnson that just ran from uh, Klitschko. It was an em embarrassment. I mean... Are they getting paid too much? I mean, what's the motivation of to win now? Once you get the big payday, a lot of these guys are like, hey, this is what I came for. Then they go. You know, they give uh, a horrible performance, and then they're out of there. I mean, what if this check is, if we say, hey, yeah, you fought a good fight, and this one is, dude, you friggin' tanked it, man. You, you, you know, you just left a turd right in the middle of the ring. You know, this is the paycheck you would have got had you done you know, what we expected or what you promised you would do, this is, you know, this is your other paycheck for, you know, the actual outcome and what you did. Oh, is that too subjective? Let me know, okay? So that's, that's I want to put it out there. What what changes can be made? I don't know if there there are any. But what would you like to see made? And again, thank you for uh, giving me your time and, and watching the videos and stuff like that, okay? Well, hey, this is a big ragu. I'm out.